Hi everyone, this is the first video for the fourth lesson um, from the further trick pack. It's a nice one this one, it's kind of quite algebra heavy. Uh, and I like algebra heavy stuff. And it's all about the double angle formulas. So we know um, from the compound angle formulas that we can have sine A plus B and we can have cos A plus B. So I'm going to use sine A plus B as sine A cos B plus sine B cos A. It might be slightly the wrong way around, like it might be cos A sine B, but 3 times 4 is 4 times 3, so you get what I'm on about. So here, for sine 2a, if I see it as sine of a plus a, then I can just replace this b with an a. So I would get, I'd get sine a cos a plus sine a cos a. I've got two lots of the same there, so I've got two lots of 2 sine A cos A. And that's quite an important formula for us this year, because it helps us out quite a lot. I can do similar with cos, if I see it as cos of A plus A. So I know that cos A plus B is sine a cos a, oh, no it's not, sine a sine b minus cos a cos b, oops, get it right, read the formula book that day, cos a cos b minus sine a sine b, so once again if I change the b into a, I've got cos a cos a minus sine a sine a so cos 2a is cos squared of a minus sine squared of a and that also is quite important but what's quite neat is I can change this one into 1 minus sine squared a and this is what number two is doing, so we'll do this one first. So if I replace cos squared with one minus sine squared a, then I get cos two a is one minus sine squared a minus sine squared a. So cos two a is one minus two sine squared a. That one is ridiculously important when we come to integrate sine squared or cos well, yeah, sine squared or cos squared for the other one. We need that one. And I could replace the sine squared with one minus cos squared, which is what this one's doing here. One minus cos squared. So I've got cos two a is cos squared. A minus, now be careful with this because it's minus 1 minus cos squared A. So I've got a minus and minus in there. So I've got a minus and minus to make a plus cos squared. Uh, plus cos squared. So I've got 2 cos squared minus 1. And the biggest usage of these two equations here, because these are ridiculously important, is integrating cos squared or sine squared because it doesn't work. Differentiating we can fiddle with chain rule, but integrating it just doesn't work. It doesn't give us the value of what we need. So this is our biggest use for these double angle formulas. There is integrating. Right, let's keep ourselves another go with a tan then. So let's see then. So tan A plus B is 
is Tane Tambe. Oops. Tane plus Tambe over one minus Tane Tambe. So if I do it as, ta as so that's my formula that I'm going to use. So if I see it as tan of a plus a, then tan of 2a will be tan a plus tan a, because I'm replacing the b with an a, 1 minus tan a, tan a. So tan 2a is I've got tan a plus a tan a, so I've got 2 tan a on the top, and I've got 1 minus tan a times by tan a, so tan squared of a. And that's a nice one. That's a nice formula. Comes in like lots of algebra manipulation questions there. So that's the end potentially of your page 12. Let's have a look at this one. So here we go. Now, so it says these results are not in the formula booklet. So you can either, either remember them or learn how to do them. I tend to remember this one, this one, and this one. And these I just make, I just derive them. But it's just practice, isn't it? We need some practice. Okay. Right. So it says, sine, find sine 2 theta, find cos theta. Now look, remember what I said, if you get a trig with a fraction, it's telling me to draw a triangle. So I'll draw a triangle. So I've got a right angle triangle, there's theta. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. I know it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle, there, because we always use them. Right, so what have I got then? So cos theta will be 4 over 5. Uh, and that's all I need, isn't it? Because I'm not working out, I could work out tan 2 as well, couldn't I? Should we do that as a bonus? Right, so sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta. So sine 2 theta is 2 times by 3 fifths. Ooh, now then, have I fallen into a trap? Look, it says obtuse. So for obtuse, cos and tan are minus. So I need a little minus sign in there. Let's just kind of rewrite that. So sneak a little minus sign in there. Minus 4 fifths. Times by minus four fifths. So sine two theta will be what's that going to be? Minus twenty four over twenty five. Is it? Yeah. So cos two theta. So you can use any of the three equations I'll get you. So if I do uh, cos squared minus sine squared. But it doesn't really matter which one you use, does it? So I'm looking at four minus four fifths squared minus three fifths squared. So sixteen minus nine all over twenty five gives me seven over twenty five. There, and I guess it's spotting because you've got a trig function and a fraction. It's remembering that it's kind of like making you want to draw. Um, a triangle. Should we do tan 2 theta as well? So I know that tan theta will be opposite over adjacent. So tan 2 theta will be, so it was 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan theta squared. 3 quarters squared. And I'll let you work that out and see what you get out of tan 2 theta. Yeah. So in my nine minutes, 30 now, so I'll stop that one.